Today I want to talk about the PM Kid attack using HCX Dump Tool and Hashcat. Just a reminder, you can find the original post on my blog, link in the description, along with any reference links and source code. While it's a bit older, I recently pulled off a PM Kid attack and wanted to share the steps. If you've never heard of the PM Kid attack, then I recommend reading the original Hashcat post. This is a clientless attack that doesn't need a four-way handshake or special output format. For another walkthrough, you can also visit the linked post. First, you will need to use HCX dump tool to capture the VLAN traffic. Note that not all drivers are working out of the box, but the following is a list of recommended chipsets. Note that I performed this attack with a different card, but you will need to do some additional setup steps. With my alpha card in monitor mode, I was ready to begin. First, I used AeroDump to grab the BSSID of my target network. Once I obtained the BSSID, I added it to a filter file. While more than one BSSID can exist in this file, I was only targeting this specific network. With my filter in place, I can now use HCX dump tool to collect packets. I was able to capture a PM kit hash very quickly, which was awesome. Next, I used HCPCAP tool to convert the hash into a usable format. To crack these hashes using Hashcat, you will need to use at least version 4.2.0. After verifying that I had an updated version, I was set to crack the hash. Unfortunately, I was unable to crack the hash in this specific scenario. That said, I was able to prove the vulnerability and convince them to switch away from PSK. In light of a fun screenshot of me able to connect, I present to you a picture of my coworker's awesome and ridiculous antenna. I also wanted to point out that cracking the PM kit hashes is around twice as fast as standard EA poll packets. This makes the attack even more enticing as WPA2 is a notoriously slow algorithm. While I wasn't able to perform a complete compromise, this was still an awesome attack to do. I definitely plan on using as well as researching it further. Note that Eep Hammer can also do this attack and I may share a post with that technique as well. If you have any other suggestions for wireless gear or techniques that I should try, then definitely reach out. As always, you can check out this suggested video by YouTube and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to help me grow the channel.